What's up, everybody? It's Coach Raul here at Dynamite Kickboxing. We are back once again with our next Film Study Friday. This week's Film Study Friday, we're going to be talking about changing levels, all right? Changing levels is whenever you change the targets that you're aiming for whenever you're fighting. Not all punches go to the head. Not all kicks go to the leg. Not all kicks go to the body. Not all punches go to the body, et cetera, et cetera. You have to be able to mix and match. You throw some punches high. You throw some punches low. You throw some kicks low. You throw some kicks to the body. You throw some kicks high, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And in this week's example, in this week's case study, we're going to be reviewing one of my favorite kickboxers, all-time legend, former Glory World to Weight champion, Nikki the Natural Holskin, one of the best body punchers in all of kickboxing. And we're going to be reviewing one of his previous fights where he used a lot of level change and threw some punches high to make his opponent cover up so that he can go low, hit that lever, and get the big finish. Check it out. In this first clip, you see Holskin and his opponent Alex Harris tied up in a clinch. Holskin's trying to break free, so he sneaks in a little right uppercut. Boop. And then from there, he yanks his left hand out to hit Alex Harris with a liver shot, which would be the first of many throughout this fight. After throwing that liver shot, Nikki Holskin follows up with a double jab and a cross. Boom, right to Alex Harris's exposed face. His guard was kind of weak right there. There was a hole right there. Holskin exploited it, followed the double jab cross to hit him in the face. Now, since his attention is already high, Holskin continues to throw the jab cross at his head, which leaves his body open for the liver shot. Perfect. The left and then goes in on the exit, delivers an uppercut, then a left to the body, double left with a... In this next clip, we see Holskin throw a jab, and then he leans back a little bit and comes back with an upward jab, a little upward flicking jab to pop his opponent's head up. From there, he lands a hard right uppercut. At Dynamite Kickboxing, we call that opening the treasure chest, because when you hit that hard uppercut, leaves the body open for the treasure, that liver shot, boom. Holskin lands it flush. Now, to Alex Harris's credit... He's still there tough. He tried to play it off and act like it didn't really affect him, like it didn't really hurt him. However, Holskin is a shark. He smells the blood in the water, and now he's going in for the kill. Holskin throws another jab at Alex Harris. He tries to counter back with a cross, but Holskin slips it. Comes back with another hard right uppercut. Boom, lifts his head up, and that liver shot lands. Boom, right to the body. Beautiful angle, beautiful trajectory, devastating effect. Alex Harris has no choice but to drop down, take a knee, and try to recover. Side kick, side kick, one of the rarest Upper kicks. Oh. Body shot in there. Holtzkin's best work of the fight. Again, oh. liver shot down. In this next sequence, Alex Harris tries to throw a body kick at Nikki Holskin, but Holskin goes and catches the kick, grabs on, and counters with a huge right knee to the body. Boom, and as we already know, Alex Harris's body has been weakened throughout the course of this fight. Once that knee lands flush, Holskin follows up with a jab to the head and another right uppercut to set up that liver shot. And if you notice, Alex Harris's body is kind of hollowed out. Boom. Protecting his head, but left the body super exposed. Devastating liver shot, earning Holskin the second knockdown of this round. With the knockdown here in round two, make that Holskin. And there's another liver shot! We're in the final sequence of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Holskin comes in with a huge uppercut liver shot. Let's see how many he throws over the final moments of this fight. Uppercut hook. Right at this point, Alex Harris is desperate. But Holstein comes back with another uppercut liver shot. Boom, right there. Alex Harris is hurt. Holstein's going in for the kill. Throws a left uppercut, left hook, and the right head kick. Now, normally, if you go to the body enough, somebody will eventually start dropping their hands to protect their body and leave their head exposed. That's why Holstein threw the head kick there, hoping to catch Alex Harris with that head kick. He slips that cross, comes back with another uppercut and a left hook to the body. Uppercut, liver shot, and that was it. The damage is done. When you have somebody hurt, you have to keep throwing that strike to catch him, which is what Holskin did, and he got the finish. Man, another shot like that. He's going to ask for a side of fava beans. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's another hook. He hooked him again right the same place. He might want to throw a, a, a left roundhouse kick. You have to wonder how much those two liver shots and make it three. Third time. The charm, Nikki Holtzkin vanquishing Alex Harris with the liver shot in the second round. What, what a, a fight. Man. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nikki the natural Holtzkin finishing Alex Harris back at Glory 1 with huge liver shots. Set them up repeatedly throughout the fight. He was changing levels. He would throw some punches at Alex Harris's head, made him shell up, which ultimately left his body exposed for that liver shot. Boom. And then afterwards, Nikki Holtzkin had a lot of success with that right uppercut, lifting Alex Harris's head up and then following up with that huge body shot afterwards. 
Again, big shout out to Nikki Holskin. Again, one of the legends of kickboxing. Tremendous body puncher. That was a phenomenal display. And again, now you guys can see the importance of changing levels. Whenever you throw high, your opponent thinks high, so you go low. When they think low, you go high. When they think high, you go low, et cetera, et cetera. Mix and match your strikes, and that's the power of the level change. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for next week's Film Study Friday, and uh, hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you soon. Boom! Thank <laughs> you.